Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Jtastic and this is my first look at Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. So let's go straight in. So let's see. First off, we've got the game modes. So they are all pretty standard. Team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, Domination, Kill Confirmed, VIP Escort, Control, Free For All and Search and Destroy. All of which I believe have been in the game before. VIP Escort may have a different name but I'm pretty sure that has been in the game already and obviously you've got your hardcore choices as well once again team deathmatch domination kill confirmed free for all and search and destroy so from there we're going to go to loadouts and create a class now create a, the class the weapon side of things is extremely similar to modern warfare so you can have Five attachments to your primary gun, and you can pick the attachments, and they have their pros and cons, which is pretty much exactly what Modern Warfare had as well. So nothing much has been changed there, apart from maybe the layout. Tell a lie, I think I could be wrong, but I think the ha fact that you can have five uh, attachments on your secondary gun, by the looks of it is new I think in the old game it may have been two or three attachments so there's that tacticals we have stun grenade stim shot smoke grenade flashbang decoy all of which been in the game many many times before so we all know about those lethals frag c4 Centex, molotov and tomahawk once again they've all been in the game before and everybody knows them pretty well now field upgrades, I think this is the first time the field upgrades have had something lethal in them, so proximity mine. So looks like it's the old Bouncing Betty's that have been in the game several times before. Field mic, a listening device that highlights enemy sounds on your minimap. It doesn't highlight the sounds, it just shows up people who are near you within a certain area on the minimap. Trophy system, yeah. Oldie but goodie, supply crate containing ammo that gives bonus score for taking down enemies. Yep, that's been done before as well. Sound turret launches missiles at enemy air score streaks and player piloted helicopters. That is that new? I think that might be new. Jammer, that's definitely been done before. Now, gas mine. Gas mine is new. We've had like gas grenades, but a gas proximity mine? No, that's not been done before, I'm pretty sure. So before I get into the perks, I'm going to go jump over to the wild cards. They've been brought back. So I, I love them because they give you a bit more um, flexibility when you're making your class. So we've got Danger Close. A quick extra lethal and tactical throwing equipment. Yep. We've all seen that one before. Lawbreaker. Equip any weapon class in either slot. Equip multiple perks from one category. That I will probably be using so I can get my ghost and my ninja in the same place. In the same class, should I say? Gunfighter, unlock three additional attachment slots for your primary weapon. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That could be pretty cool too. Perk Greed, equip an extra perk from each perk category. Ah. I may use that instead of Lawbreaker because I can get my Ghost and my Ninja plus have extras on top of that as well. So then we'll go into the perks themselves. So perk one, we have engineer, paranoia, flak jacket, tactical mask, and forward intel. The only new one there, I believe, is forward intel. So that is C indicators for enemy reinforcements on your minimap. Minimap shows a larger area. Perk two. So first off, we've got assassin. That's another new one. Enemies that appear in your minimap when shooting or revealed by a spy plane will have a crosshair indicator instead of a red dot if they're on a kill streak. Receive extra score for taking them down. So I think everybody actually starts the game with that one in, in their class, no matter what you do. Gearhead, reduce field upgrade cooldown. That's pretty standard, but the two field upgrade charges, that is new. Scavenger, yep, that's oldie villa goodie. Quartermaster, recharge equipment over 25 seconds. Once again, I think we've had a version of that before. Maybe not the same name, but we've definitely had it. Tracker, enemy, see enemy footprints 
aim at enemies to reveal them on your team's minimap. Ooh, okay, so it is a bit different. So the footsteps, yes, that's old, but aim at enemies to reveal them on your minimap, that has not been done before. Gun ho! Fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting, move at full speed while reloading, switch weapons faster, take less damage from falling, fire more accurately while sliding. I'm pretty sure that's an oldie but, but a goodie. I'm using that term way too much, aren't I? Ghost, that's my guy, I love this one. And it's a staple of the series, so we won't really go into that. Cold blooded, that's another one done before. Ninja. Basically, dead silence. So, spycraft hack enemy field upgrades immune to counter spy plane, jammer, tracker, and paranoia. Won't trigger proximity mines or gas mines, booby trap enemy care packages. So, I think that's a bit of a mashup of a few old perks, like the booby trapping the care packages. I'm pretty sure was part of Engineer back in the day. So, from there. So that's all the class stuff. We have score streaks. So if I am reading my information right, score streaks obviously they got by building up your score instead of kills. And they don't you bet you don't get reset if you die, so you keep your progression even if you get killed. Which is why by the looks of it everything has a lot higher score than it normally would have to get them like the first one starts off at 500 points whereas normally uh, it maybe be 300 for your first kill or, st or score streak but so what kill streaks do we have we've got combat bow basically flaming arrows that's that's a new one not had that one before rcxd yeah we know that one Spy plane, that's basically UAV, counter spy plane, counter UAV. Armor, so basically it gives you armor like you would have in Warzone. I got this one earlier and it did absolutely nothing for me. So um, yeah, that's probably more down to me than the thing itself, but we'll see. Care package, sentry turret, yep, both of those are pretty standard. One thing I will say though is I think the sentry turret doesn't turn as much or it doesn't turn as fast as it does in the older games so people can run around it and get behind it a bit easier Napalm Strike, that has been brought back from an old game I believe Artillery, yep that's been there before, Cruise Missile it's basically Predator Missile Air Patrol just counters your counters air, air <laughs> counters air score streaks War Machine, now it's one of my favourite weapons from Black Ops 2 and 3. Was it 3 and 4? 3 and 4, 3 and 4. So yeah, they've turned that into a kill streak, score streak now. I've got to get the name right, it's a score streak. Attack helicopter, chopper gunner, VTOL, and gunship, all of which have appeared before. So score streaks, oh, vehicle customs. I am assuming this is going to come into play. Gunboat hind. Oh, is it for what your kill streaks look like? Maybe. Yeah, we got gestures. Okay. So you start off with two operators in each of these factions, NATO and Warsaw Pact. I've been playing as NATO, so you get these two at the start, and I seem to have unlocked this handsome devil somehow. Don't know how I managed it, but yep, got him. Uh, Warsaw Pact, I've not been playing as them, so I do not have any unlocks there. Challenges, barracks, and store, that is all pretty standard stuff that I'm sure you've all seen before and don't need me to explain. So what do I think of it? I'll start off with the negatives and that is there is a very small selection of maps that come with the game at launch. So there's about eight maps and uh, yeah they, they could have just recycled a few of the old maps and chucked them in there just to give us a bit more, more selection. 
And uh, secondly, it's a bit samey. And I know the Call of Duty franchise suffers from that a lot. But this game, I feel, is very, very, very similar to Modern Warfare. Apart from a few little tweaks here and there, obviously. So, other than that, I do like the game. It's fun to play. Uh, I've played it as much as I can today, much to the frustration of my wife. And, uh, yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody who is a die-hard fan of the series. Or new to the series. But... If you're not really big into Call of Duty, I would probably give it a miss. So I will leave you with some, some of my gameplay from earlier. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm Captain JTastic. Like, share, subscribe. Make me famous. Shabba! Free for all. Eliminate all threats. Confirm and kill. Spy plane standing by. Spy plane in the turn. We have eyes on. Available for tasking. Initial timeline expired. Spy plane RTB. Enemy spy plane inbound. <clears throat> Dug it drop. Sentry turrets up. One by. Enemy spy plane inbound. Confirm and kill. Proximity mine threat down.
Enemy care package above. Enemy spy plane inbound. Attack oh. arm, get me a spy plane. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Spy plane commencing surveillance overflight. Multiple enemy spy plane contacts. They're gone. Threat neutralized. I've got him. Shot out. Detected in your AO. Enemy care package above. Enemy care package above. 